Okay, so today I'm looking at this reflex optic by ADE. It was $40. I found it on eBay. And we're going to be testing it out today. Let's see, it comes with a silica gel packet, a cleaning cloth, that's important. This is your manual. Um, all right, there's a little adjustment gauge in there. Flathead screwdriver for your adjustments. There's the optic. It has a nice little protective cover on there. And an Allen wrench. Okay. Let's take a look at the optic. Let me just read you some of this stuff on here. Diagram. Okay, number one, you got your on off switch. Number two, elevation adjustment. Number three, windage. Number four, Objective lens, that's important. Five mounting screw unit, right there, we already looked at that. Connection screws, number six. Okay, so it looks like you got a couple screws up there for if you want to mount this thing onto a handgun slide. And then, number seven, locking screws. Okay, so you're going to have to loosen those locking screws before you make your adjustments and then afterwards tighten those back up. Reticle type, 3 MOA dot. Reticle color, red. I was hoping for green, but Get what you get with 40 bucks. Oh, look, it's a green dot after all. So they lied to me. It says battery life is high, 270 hours. I like that. Maximum recoil in G's, 1,000. All right, well. I'm going to be installing it onto my high point carbine. This is a 9mm. I'm going to dial it in and then take a bunch of shots with it and see if it held zero. And if it did, then I would definitely suggest this optic if you're looking for one and you don't want to spend $200 on a little optic. This would be a good choice if it works correctly. All right, so this optic came with batteries already installed. I just turned it on and it's at its lowest brightness. Can't really see it. Try one click, now you can see it. I think that's the brightest. And then off. All right. That ain't going nowhere. Wow, it turns out I didn't have to make any adjustments. I flipped up the sights on my carbine here and it turns out the dot is resting right on top of the front post. Wow. So, this sight comes already adjusted to your gun. Alright, so I think I have it right where I want it. I'm going to take a shot and see where I'm at.
All right, so now that I know that I'm dialed in, I'm gonna unleash a bunch of rounds down there in my little gallery, and then take one final shot and see if we're still holding zero. All right. Hit a little low there. And if you look at this one, I hit the same spot. I'm gonna go for this pan for my final shot to see if it's still really dialed in. Or maybe I'm just missing. Okay, just gonna load up one. This will be it. This is the final test. All right. That's a hit. Okay, so that was a hit, but it is shooting a little low and just a smidget to the left, just like we saw here. And with this one. Um, so I'm gonna put three more rounds into this pan and take my time with it and see what kind of group we get. I'd say that's a pretty good group there. And um, I feel better about myself now because um, as you see, some of these shots went low and it might have been like, well, that guy cannot shoot worth a damn. But look at that. I just didn't have it dialed in as good as I thought. So, now you see what this reflex sight is capable of. Looks like it's holding pretty good.